Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have a great beginner shirt project and this time we are using a stencil to make shirts with acrylic paint. All right guys, so let's talk about what we have here. Um, super duper easy, especially if you are already used to working with adhesive vinyl. Now I have already cut my design. I'm not sure if you can see the weed lines yet, but the first thing I'm going to do is weed out like we're making a stencil. Now we have done this before guys, when we did our glass etching project. So make sure you check that out as well if you enjoy making stencils, but super easy. And that will show you also a little bit more on the software. But basically all you're going to do is you're going to cut and then weed the inside of your design. Okay. Now, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, this is just a plain cotton Gildan shirt, adhesive vinyl transfer tape. And then I just have these regular acrylic paints that I picked up in the craft store. I did uh, grab purple and navy blue. So we'll see how those look together. And then just a regular foam brush, which works really good. And then a piece of butcher paper that I'm going to put in between the shirt layers so that the paint doesn't bleed through to the back. So let me go ahead and weed this. Now you can discard that part of the design. And let's go ahead and set this to the side because what I wanna do, go ahead and put the butcher paper inside of my shirt. Now you don't have to have butcher paper, but just have something on hand that you can put in between the layers so you don't have any paint bleed. One thing that also works really well is freezer paper or parchment paper. So just have a look around. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and decide where I want to put this. Okay, now I sized my file to be 11 inches wide because I know that works for the size of shirt that I wear. So make sure you measure out your design just like you would for heat transfer vinyl. And then what I did was leave the rest of the sheet, because it's a 12 inch sheet, to be the barrier around the outside, okay? So let's apply our transfer tape. Now go ahead and apply your stencil, like I said, the same place where you would put any type of HTV, okay? Smooth it down the best you can. Now, the next part I think is the hardest part, and that's going to be removing the transfer tape from the vinyl, but with a little bit of patience, you can do it. The adhesive vinyl does stick to the shirt, but sometimes you just need to help out these little pieces. If you roll it back, instead of trying to pull up, it does work a little better. So once that's done, just make sure that all of your inside layers, all of your inside seams are in place and they don't have any gaps. Um, that way the paint can't leak underneath. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and give myself a little bit of each color of paint. Now, if you have some sort of little paint set up, feel free to use that, but I do just squeeze out a little bit. Now, evidently this navy blue paint is very old. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with that real quick. All right, I mixed it up a little. That's a little better. Not much, but we're going to make it work. So what I'm going to do personally is I'm going to do, now you can do all one color. Don't feel like you have to get fancy with it, but I am going to come in and do a little bit of blending because I wanna show you like how versatile this can be, okay? So I'm gonna start off with some navy. And what I like to do is just dab. I don't, I don't want to brush it. I just want to dab it on. So while we're doing this, let's talk a little bit about why you would even want to stencil your shirt with acrylic paint. Number one, it makes a really awesome kids craft. I used to do this with my kids a lot, especially the boys. They weren't super impressed with my crafting, uh, but when they got to get a little bit more hands-on, they enjoyed it a little bit more and I was able to coerce them to spend crafty time with me, right? But uh, my daughter absolutely loves it. She is a crafter at heart. Um, so we do these for a lot of seasonal shirts. Um, it's also, cheaper than using heat transfer vinyl because all you need is craft paint, which most of us already have on hand. 
um, and then a, a vinyl stencil. So easy, cheap. It also lets you um, open up to colors that you don't have in heat transfer vinyl and even do maybe some blending like we're going to do today with the navy and the purple. Um, you know, of course, you can get as super creative with it as you want. If you are, you know, an artist at heart, then absolutely the things that you can do with the acrylic paint is, you know, just really, really eye-opening. And it's super easy to, you know, get those crisp lines when you're using a vinyl stencil. Now, if you're using just regular acrylic paint like I am, it after it dries, it can be a little stiff. It loosens up a little bit in the washing machine, and I don't wash it any different than I do, you know, my regular clothes. Now, I do try to wash it separately the first time, or at least rinse it out, like in the sink, um, but I don't really go out of my way to pamper my shirts. Um, but there's also an acrylic medium that you can buy that softens up, um, or rather it's a, a fabric medium for you to mix in with your acrylic paint to uh, give it a softer hand. Now, a lot of the stencil shirts that I make are, a lot of times they're one-time wear shirts, like I said, like seasonal or whatnot. Um, but it, it's a really nice way just to make shirts, period. If you find painting to be, you know, soothing, and you know, this, <laughs> obviously isn't super, uh, super skilled on the painting level, but you know, sometimes it's just nice to feel like you're doing more than cutting vinyl. So once you're done is the really cool part. Now you can wait for it to dry, absolutely. I am pretty impatient, um, if, <laughs> if you haven't noticed from some of my videos. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the vinyl. Now, this can be a hazard because you have wet paint on your vinyl. So if it touches back down or anything like that, then, you know, it could leave paint in areas of your shirt that you were not intending. So definitely, you know, use a little bit of caution. There is a, a nice little preview of what our shirt looks like. And then, of course, I can't, I like to take my weeding tweezers and use that to get the small pieces up if I'm trying to do it. Now, if it's completely dry, then you can peel this off with your fingers. And then of course, I'm going to leave my butcher paper under until my shirt is completely dry, but you can see our nice little ombre effect. And then like I said, if I, um, you know, just wash it out with some cool water, you can even heat seal these. I haven't found it necessary on my shirts, but a lot of people talk about it. So just cover it with some um, butcher paper and then maybe hit it with your heat press or your easy press. But like I said, for me, this is a done deal. I'm very happy with it. And now I have another really great crafting shirt to wear. So guys, how did you feel about our stenciled t-shirt project? Now, of course, I think it's really super easy. I love doing this, like I said, for seasonal designs. It's a great kids craft, but I love doing it for myself too, because it really opens up some artistic abilities to making these t-shirts. Now, if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love seeing all your feedback on the videos. And of course, if you have any video requests, make sure you leave that down below too, because I love to bring you content that you want to see. Now make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a quick thumbs up if you learned something new today. And guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. I love that you love the videos and you know, I want to keep bringing you these really awesome videos in the future. So I'm going to wrap it up for today, but thanks again, guys. We'll see you again next time.